127 years ago, male and manual high schools first played football against one another. Then one year later on November 22nd, 1894, they played their first Thanksgiving Day game. In all, the teams played one another for decades on Thanksgiving, ending the holiday series in 1980 due to the restructuring of the state high school football playoffs. This year would have been the 40th anniversary of that final Thanksgiving Day game, but thanks to COVID, that didn't happen. Still, the fellows haven't forgotten, and neither of their fans, their families, and friends. In fact, some of the rival team members are joining us this morning, and I have to say I'm so excited because we first have Chris West, who's up on top there from Manual, and Hello. Danny Lane from Mail. Before we introduce some of the other fellows that you've brought along for the ride, Chris and Danny, I'd love for you to tell the story a little bit and why this is so important to you. Uh, well, I was a I was a freshman that year, so I didn't get any playing time. I was a reserve, uh, but I felt like the guys that actually played in the game needed some recognition. Uh, I also do the uh, male uh, football alumni reunion, and I thought this would be a great idea. And with the 40th anniversary this year, we we were trying to do something in 2020, but COVID was just not going to be on our side this year. So. Uh, you know, it's it's de near and dear to my heart, Mayo Manual, uh, absolutely. Um, I got to play in, in three of them, uh, not the first one. I wish I, I wish I did, but uh, but it's near and dear to my heart. Uh, I love Mayo and I respect Manual. My grandfather, one ma grandfather went to Mayo, one went to Manual. So I, I know the rivalry very well. Yeah, and for me, um... You know, it was just a, a, also a great opportunity. And, I, and we also talked about the timing of, you know, putting something positive out there in our community or uh, dealing with what we've been dealing with. And so, you know, Mel and Manu is, is, is a big deal in my family. I don't know if you know, my oldest brother, Dallas Thornton, referred to him as the legend, went to Mel, All-American. And um, I almost went to Mel and then the restructuring of busing hit to where everyone in my neighborhood went to manual um and and that rival um uh, is just something that we look forward to every year even though it was thanksgiving day um it was just a part of what we did every year now we've invited some other of the some of your rivals some of you are former teammates and so i'll go ahead and start bringing them up here we have melvin knight and melvin went to manual Eric, and Eric, you're gonna have to help me with this baller stat. That's pretty good, baller stat. Baller stat. I like baller. Just I mean, because you were a baller. I know that. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> from Mail, we have Preston Gray, who's from Manual. We have Alan Whaley, who's from Mail, and then Tommy Tommy Graham Gambrel. Excuse me, Tommy. That's okay. And I mean, can we take a guess who Tommy's for? I think he dressed for it. Yeah. <laughs> of course, Tommy is from Mail as well. It's good to see all of you. In fact, we have two of you who are here from out of, out of state. Alan, you're in Alabama. Tommy, you're in Florida. What does the game mean to all of you? I mean, and especially looking at this, the 40th anniversary and Danny reaching out and saying, hey, Danny and Chris saying, we just want to share some positivity. Yeah. More and more every year. Uh, the, the further away we get from this game uh, being played on Thanksgiving Day, um, it just becomes more special that I was able to take part of it with these fine men. And not to second that, um, I remember our, our yes, freshman sir. year at Coach Phelps told us no matter how many ball games you play, the male, male manual game will be a special one. Yeah, we'll always right. remember the scores. Our the scores of three years I played were twenty-two to six, fourteen to nothing, and six to nothing in overtime. Yep. Um, I got to introduce my son to the to rivalry, I think four or five years ago. His senior, he didn't play ball, so I got to bring him up, and he was awestruck at how that rivalry game uh, was attended and the relationship between the schools. And to me, the um, and to me. That's, that's a big thing. Um, you don't get too many opportunity to be able to appreciate 
something that is very important to you. And the mail and manual, you in my family, you didn't you you get up, you didn't eat, you took a shower, and you go to mail and manual game, and then you celebrate Thanksgiving. Uh, right. Yes, so it was just an opportunity, no matter what the what your record was when it came to mail and manual, you played your best, no matter what record you have you gave it all on that day and it seemed like everybody in Louisville was at that game That's right. and you had to wear red or you wear that purple <laughs> you, you, just, you just see people was just enjoying the time being together and I think that's the most important thing you know with the guys here would be today. I just see on their face how, you know, all the memories come back. Okay. And it just, I just wish I could play it again. You know, <laughs> it, it, it means that much to me. As, right. as for me, I don't, I mean, you guys can hear me, but for me to expound on what Melvin said, it was like the pageantry. You know, it was like, I kind of related to the Thanksgiving Day parades, where it was the red and the white and the gold and the purple. It was just so so beautiful. I think we had miniature floats coming up the streets. Uh, we had a, had, a, had a parade the day of the game. And just seeing the pageantry on each side of the stadium, the Manual Stadium, the old Manual Stadium, it was just so beautiful for me to come out of the locker room and see those colors and be a part of that. So it, 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 it really meant a lot being that last day, that last game of the year. And, and it wasn't a problem wait, waiting waiting until Thanksgiving for me at all. Yeah. I love Alan, how about you? Yeah, the, the, the way the season worked back then is um, about the end of October, we were done with the regular season. So for the next three or four weeks, we were focused on on that male manual game. Um, so we're, we're, nobody else was practicing except those that were in the state championship playoffs. You know, we were focused on that Thanksgiving Day game, and it was just a a really special opportunity to get to participate in something. You know, I think about you know even down here in Mobile, I think about it all the time. It was just a, a great opportunity. Now, I do have to ask the question, um, even though I know you all know this: Where did the series end? It hasn't. They still play. They'll play. I'm wow. sorry. Let me let me make that clear. Where did the series end on Thanksgiving? Mail, manual. Uh, I think Man, it ended, manual, of course. It of ended, course. Manual, of it course. Ended. One of the last. Yeah, ended with Chris running across the end zone on us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right by yeah. me. Right by me. Yeah. yeah. We always we always yeah, play the I game. Think made a block or something or another. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was looking at that. Yeah, yeah, you, you know, know. <laughs> you know, like yeah, about that, <laughs> Tommy, what's that? Tommy, go ahead. What it's were you saying? Thing, you know, I mean, we always played that you game. Know, everybody was no we big enough to hold the crowd, so we played every game at Manual Stadium. Yeah, you, Melvin, go ahead. Yes, you know, the funny thing about it, I think Mel was everybody knew Preston was going to get the ball. You know, at that time, <laughs> down there, I know they was focusing on Preston. The play before Chris scored, they stopped our running back. So the next play, you know, you're going to like, only person they got is is Preston. <laughs> uh, Wes, he had some legs too. So, you know, we snuck that one on in. Definitely. Well, I appreciate you all taking the time to join us today. Danny, I have to ask you because you're the one who reached out to us. I'm so glad that you brought the positivity because we could all use some positivity right now. Yeah. COVID cannot stop friendship. It cannot stop legendary rivalries like this. What can we expect to see? I'm And I'm not even going to say go back to normal because I really hope that we're all taking this time to to improve and to learn some lessons from where we are. But what about that 40th anniversary? Are we going to see these fellas and some more of the rest of the team and I, teams? I definitely hope so. Um, 
I'm with Chris. Uh, you know, if we can um, get both teams to show up at the Mayo Manual game every year, that would be awesome. Uh, I think that'd be great. And, and, you know, and be part of the sidelines, be part of the teams, you know, build on the rivalry, keep it going, keep it alive. That's the thing we have to do. And right here, these gentlemen right here, living proof of it. They, they are about the Mayo Manual rivalry. Um, and they gave their all on that day in November, November 27th to be exact. And uh, I, I'm just honored that I get to be part of that too because I was just on the team. <laughs> but um, no, but these guys, I, I look up to all of them, whether they're male or manual. So um, uh, I think you'll see more. Hopefully we can build this male manual rivalry up more to where it was, you know, 100 years ago, 20 years ago. Yeah. Well, thank you, Melvin, Chris, Eric, Tommy, Danny, Alan, Preston. Appreciate you all so much for taking the time here on Great Day Live. Thank you. Man. Thank you very thank much. You. Thank you.